Hello everyone, welcome back to a Small Terrible channel. Again, this is Ma'am Asenho. So yesterday, we're done with uh, Module 1, Part 2. So today, we're going to proceed to Module 2, and hopefully, we can finish it, the whole of Module 2. Alright, so um, before we proceed, okay, so... For those who want a copy of this ebook, of this interactive self learning module, just comment down below your email address. Alright? And hopefully, masubaybayan ninyo ito kasi isa sa mga requirement ko na ibibigay ko itong ebook for free sa inyo ay uh, mag comment kayo sa mga tutorial ko on how to use this ebook sa kanilang mga video. Okay? So, mag-comment lang kayo sa mga video. So, so far, may dalawa na akong video na na-upload. Ito ay pangatlo. So, mag-comment lang kayo sa mga uh, sa mga video ko na yon at uh, ang i-comment ninyo ay yung email address ninyo na sindan ko sa kopya na ni nito for free. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, module 2 tayo, elements and compounds. So, tingnan ninyo, naka-deep breath, uh, ano ba to? <laughs> Humihinga talaga siya ng malalim kasi nagsisimula na tayo sa, ano, napakahirap na, na lesson. Mahirap pa, hindi naman. Alright, so based on the most essential learning competency or MELC from DepEd, um, the second learning competency is recognize that substances are classified into elements and compounds. So, in this module, you will learn to recognize that substances are classified into elements and compounds. Then, we have here our targets, differentiate elements and compounds, list the examples of elements and compounds, and show willingness to classify pure substances into elements and compounds. Then we have here unlocking of difficulties, chemical formula, matter, right? Let's proceed to the next page. Okay, let's maybe let's try another um, gadget. Okay, let's have this Samsung. All right, choose true if the statement is correct and false if it's not a correct statement. So let's try to have, um, I am just not going to read this, ha. Huh? This is just for the sake of an uh, illustration for you. So, oh, I just got 1 over 5. Okay, so as you can see. Alright, so the correct answers are highlighted here. Okay, so just clear the answers to proceed. Okay, let's go back to, I like the desktop, the desktop screen. Okay, let's proceed. Do this. So, in the do this, this is the um, activity before the lesson proper. So, we are going to, I forgot to clear this. So, after I, I, after I answered it kanina. So, yan. Kapag nakita mo na ang isang element, given its symbol, for example, this one, T-I, ano ba yan? Ang T-I. Itong B-A. Ano ba yan? Anong, anong element ba yan? Okay. Tingnan natin kung may makikita ba tayong element dito ngayon. Kasi nakikita ko na ang mga ano. Okay. Ito. Phospho. Phosphorus. Correct. My, my phosphorus. Ano pa bang nandito? So, naka-diagonal, naka-horizontal, naka-vertical. Pwede, ha? Makikita dito. Okay, let's proceed na. Para matapos talaga itong i-clear lang natin para ang susunod na gagamit ay um, clean or start talaga. Ito. Video play. So, itong video play ay online siya. Kapag wala kang internet connection, hindi ito mag-play. Okay? So, hindi ito mag-play. So, may offline naman. So, okay. 
So, kapag may internet connection ka, mag-play yan. Yung video play niyan. Na yan. Ito. Flash Elements. My title is Flash Elements. Why? It's a flash card. <coughs> Excuse me po. It's a flash card. And, uh, kailangan mong uh, i-guess kung ano ang symbol niya. So, for example, hydrogen. Ano kaya ang symbol? It's H, right? Okay, that's correct. Next, silver. What's the symbol? Capital A, small letter G. Okay, correct. <coughs> Excuse me po. That's it. Then, we have the keep this in mind portion. So, in the keep this in mind portion, this is the discussion part. The discussion part of the lesson elements and compounds. So, as you can see, you have here the predictable of elements. So, the vertical or the columns are the group numbers. Okay? So, we have group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5, group 6, group 7, group 8, group 9, 10, until sa 18. Yan ang group number ng periodic table of elements. Okay, so, yan ang group number sa mga elements. Okay, so, example of elements ay itong uh, nandito sa predictable of elements. Yan lahat, example, yan ang elements. For the compound, so, they are the combination of two or more elements. So, yung mga elements dito sa predictable ay combine lang two or more. You have the compound already. For example, water. So, it is a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen na, na element. For the salt, we have sodium and hydrogen. And so many examples of compound. Then, apply what you have learned. So, after the discussion, let's apply right away what we have learned. So, the following formulas apply to either an element or to a compound, right? Beside each formula, element or compound as appropriate. If the formula is for a compound, write the names of all the component elements in the compound enclosed by a parenthesis. So, take note of the, the instruction enclosed by a parenthesis. So, let's try to answer this. This is a compound. Then, we have carbon and oxygen. Then here, this is an element. Then we have... Alright, so shall we say, let's just say that we cannot answer any more question 3, 4, 5. Okay, so take note, we got, okay, so this is sensitive, uh, case insensitive, that means if you're, if you type the word, if you type the word compound and you start it with a small letter, though you're in the answer K, it's capital, it's just a K because I, I, I set it to case insensitive. Okay, anyway, just make sure that you follow the instruction to put it inside the parenthesis for the, ele for the component element if, if he, the answer is a compound. Okay, so that's how to use this part. Now, let's proceed to the next page. We have reflect. So, you are going to fill in the missing words. So, the simplest complete chemical substances. So, for example, we're going to answer element. Then here, shall we say, let's answer compound. So, if it's the start of the sentence, of course, you should write it in a, a starting with a capital letter. But if it's in the middle of the sentence, I of course, you're going to write it starting with a small letter. So, say for example, we are going, we cannot answer any more the remaining blanks. So, just show answer, and you have here. Okay, it should be okay. So, subject verb agreement also applies because it, 
it has in the uh, sentence are, so it should be plural in the in the subject part. So it should be elements. So subject verb agreement is considered in in answering this test. If not, you got it wrong. You'll got it wrong. Okay. Let's go back. Is it deleted? We should delete it. Okay. So that whenever I share this to you, it will be good as new. Then next we have the assessment part, the evaluation part. So in this uh, part, uh, you're going to be evaluated if you really learned the competency. Okay. So this is symbol four. So John, for example, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, take note how the, the element should be written correctly. Compound. Okay, so let's uh, say we're not going to read this. Just answer this. Alright, submit answer afterwards. Okay, so still though your, your score is 6, it's failed because I set it that the passing score is 8 okay so okay clear answer so that when I share this to you again it's good as new all right so in the glossary part we have the elements and the compounds elements simplest complete chemical substances compound consists of two or more types of elements then we have the answer key the answer key again it uh, i just uh put this in here for uh the module or format to be completed for the module parts to be completed then we have the references and for tomorrow, we'll have these pure substances and mixtures. Again, uh, thank you so much sa mga sumusubaybay sa akin sa pag-explain um, pag ko nito, module na nagawa ko na self-learning module. And hopefully, uh, susubaybayan pa ninyo ako hanggang sa module 5. And don't forget to comment down below your email address if you want a copy for free of this ebook. Thank you so much. Mama Senhui here. Bye-bye.